Hi, this is Jonathan Kaplan. We're going to be looking at the trailer from Key Largo, one of John Huston's best pictures. And this is Trailers from Hell. My name is Frank McLeod. I'm about 12 miles off Boot Key Harbor on my way in. In 1948, it was clear that Humphrey Bogart was fast becoming Warner Brothers' biggest male star. He and his beautiful young wife, Lauren Bacall, Bogey and Betty, the Bradgelina of their day, were to be paired in their fourth and sadly their last picture together. And Bogey's best friend and drinking buddy, the great John Huston, it would be their fifth collaboration, was going to direct and adapt with Richard Brooks the screenplay from Maxwell Anderson's 1938 hit play. In 1974, Richard Brooks was editing his western Bite the Bullet at Columbia down the hall from where I was cutting White Line Fever, a modern day western with trucks instead of horses. Whenever Brooks stepped out to smoke his pipe, I would latch on to him and annoy him with questions. When I asked him about adapting Key Largo, he rolled his eyes. Adaptation, my ass. That was a page one rewrite. The goddamn play was in verse, for Christ's sake, and Bogey's character was a friggin' deserter from the good guys in the Spanish Civil War. And this was just as the Cold War and the Red Scare were hitting Hollywood, so of course the studio wants no part of the play's politics, and Bogey wants nothing to do with playing a coward, and Houston wants nothing to do with the whole deal unless Bogey's in, so it's up to me to make everybody happy. And then they all wanted to put Eddie G in the picture. So we changed the heavies from the Mexican banditos in the play to Johnny Rocco and his gang. And then the whole billing bullshit starts. Robinson had always been billed above Bogart in their pairings previously, but the studio wanted Bogart's name to be first. So it fell to Houston to sell the compromise to both stars. Bogart's name would be first reading left to right, Robinson would be above reading top to bottom. Claire Trevor, who was probably thankful for any billing at all, won 1948's Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her intense performance as Johnny Rocco's broad, a boozed-up punching bag named Gay Dawn. And a spectacular ensemble, including Lionel Barrymore, Thomas Gomez, and yes, that's Tonto Kimosabi, Jay Silverheels, as one of the Osceola brothers, the Native Americans, at the end of the picture. And it's the great John Huston at his most stylish, with beautiful low-angle wide-lens compositions, and did I mention, there's a hurricane.